everyone welcome back to another video it is of course your girl moya in today's video we are heading into our sinking funds binder and we are going to drop 200 dollars up in there because that is what we do that is what we do honey we drop money into sinking funds differently when your confidence is fueled by a belief in yourself instead of validation from others. I can tell you guys that when you have a belief in yourself, you can go way farther than you ever imagine. All you need to do is believe it and believe that you can achieve it. In the world that we live in today, well, you know, social media is a big thing and it's a ground for you know bullying and all the keyboard bullies is back behind their keyboards hiding typing away negative things to bring us down but once you believe in yourself nothing can break you and i want to tell you guys that you need to believe in yourself not everyone is strong enough to have that self-confidence and to have the courage to do things when they're getting hate from others or not getting any support. But I'm here today to tell you, girl, that you can do it and you can make anything happen as long as you put your mind to it and as long as you believe in yourself. Today we're jumping into sinking funds and we're going to stuff $200. So let me get my sinking funds binder. I want to change my binder <laughs> but it's so gold and beautiful it's pretty it's awesome it's shiny it's metallic and then I open it and it's banging so then I kind of changed my mind my mind has changed and I'm not going to change my binder not yet <laughs> not yet okay let's get into the stuffing by the way let me tell you guys how i have exciting news your girl is graduating college i know it's like an associate degree but you guys if i ever tell you how much of a fight i have to put in to get to this position where i'm at now to the point where i'm graduating Oh my God, you will never believe me. To get to this point and to finally be done with something that I've been trying to be done with for years, it's literally the best thing. Like I literally went and had a baby, guys. <laughs> to be honest with you, like my dad probably thought that I was never going to achieve this when I had a child. Caribbean dads are like that. It's nothing personal. It's just they feel as though you should be successful first before, you know, like having a child and doing stuff like that. So I felt like when I got pregnant, he probably thought that, oh my God, this is even going to be more challenging for her to finish. But I'm a fighter, y'all, and I'm very competitive. And whenever I put my mind to something, I am going to get it done. So I'm so happy, so proud, so excited. I went down to the college and I collected my gown. It was so, it was so like over excited while I was trying the gown. And I was just like, even though I don't like the color, but I was, I was like, oh my God, I finally, 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 I'm going to graduate. And not only that, but in Florida, I don't know if it's in any other state as well, but in order for you to like graduate college, you have to do this test called the FCLE. It's the Florida, it's 
like a civic literacy test. I think they're doing that because they want us to be more aware of our history and aware of our government and basically be aware of, you know, how the country is being run and stuff like that. Let me tell you guys how I went to do the civic literacy test. Mind you, they didn't give us any study guide. I didn't know where to study. I don't know anything. I mostly do online classes, so it's not like I had friends on campus. You know, like I researched, I looked everywhere for study study material, study guide, etc. I couldn't find anything to study from. So I went on Quizlet and I ended up finding a guide. And let me tell you, if you have to do that test, do not study that thing on Quizlet. It's not, none of those questions were on the test. So imagine studying for something that's not on the test at all. First attempt at the FCLE was absolute, absolute disaster. Like I literally failed it. Did you pass? Yes or no, basically. And it was just like, no. And I was just like, ah, what? I need to graduate. What you mean no? You better push me through. What? What? Guys, I literally freaked out. I called my dad. I called my stepmom. I called my mom. I called my boyfriend. I called everyone and I was just raging. And they were like, it's okay. Like, you can literally take the test again in like 24 hours. Like, I don't get it. It's not like you fail the test and you're not going to graduate. But me, I'm a winner. I don't like to fail at all in no circumstances. I don't like to lose. You cannot play games with me. You can't play Uno with me. You can't play cards with me. You can't play anything with me because if I don't win and you're laughing and you're, uh-uh, no. <laughs> I'm very competitive. I'm very, very competitive. I can tell you that. But I was so mad. But I went again, second attempt. While I was at the college, one of the ladies told me that a lot of students who studied this thing from Florida Atlantic University on YouTube, a majority of them passed. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm going to go look it up. I'm going to look over it. Thank God I did. Majority of what was shown on the YouTube channel was on the test and I was so happy. I splurted through the 80 questions real fast. And once I was done, I didn't even hesitate to click that submit button because I knew that I passed. I just knew it. Yes, guys, your girl is graduating. I'm going to be doing my decorating my hat. So I'll do that on video for you guys. So you guys can be a part of this wonderful experience. Now let's go into sinking funds and stuff this binder. So inside of car maintenance, as y'all can see it's empty. We had to do a few things with the car. We had to change the tires. We had to buy windshield fluid. I think that's what it's called. So my boyfriend and I, we had to, you know, change the tires and do all that stuff. So that's why this is empty at this moment, but we're going to put $45, it says 45, I don't have change. Let's see if I have $5 anywhere in this binder. Nope, I don't. Where did all my fives go? I'm confused. Okay y'all, so we went and we got two fives. I absolutely wish that you guys can smell this candle. Oh my gosh, this smell is so relaxing, so soft. I'm loving it. You guys need to get one of the Baddies Soft Life candles. They're absolutely relaxing, calming, and they're only 10 bucks. Come on, guys. So here's our two fives. We ran and got some change. Let's take out the 10 from here. Okay, car minutes, we're putting 45. So we have 20, 45. Not empty anymore next up we have valentine's day for valentine's day we're adding 15 dollars i hope that's the only fives we're using because i don't have any more after putting 15 dollars into valentine's day we now have 10 20 
$35, we can make some change. Yeah, we can do 20. So we have $35 into Valentine's Day now. We're just going to make some change just in case we need more fives. So here's our 35. Next up, we have vacation, which I really want to take. By the way, I did my passport, guys. Finally did the citizenship, finally did the passport, waiting for it to come. Your girl wants to travel, okay? For vacation today, we're adding $50 into vacation. So we have 20, 40, and the 10 makes 50. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 220 dollars inside of vacation. Next up we have birthdays and for birthdays we are adding 60 bucks. My mom's birthday is in May. So let's add our 60 dollars. We have 20, 40, 60. By adding $60 to birthdays, we now have 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. So we now have $200 inside of birthdays. I'm not sure what she's going to want to do. I'll ask her when that time comes and see like what she wants to do. For Christmas, we are adding $30 to Christmas, which is what we have here. I want to take the two fives. Okay, when we add thirty dollars to Christmas, we now have fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, ten, twenty. We have a hundred and twenty dollars inside of Christmas. And you guys know this is my little collector's envelope where I collect currencies. I only have Colombia right now, but my mom is supposed to send me some Jamaican money and my girlfriend have some British money for me. Once I receive those, I'll definitely come on here and you know, show you guys and put it in my little envelope. But that's basically it for the sinking funds stuffing today. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Wish me all the best at graduation. I think I'm going to do a, a graduation vlog for you guys to be a part of the journey. Thank you so much for watching.